I thought today I could share with you guys a little project that I'm working on. Uh, a little while back, I acquired this guy. This is the FM sound unit, and this is for the Sega Mark III, which, as I'm sure some of you know, is the predecessor to the Master System. Now, what a lot of people in the West don't realize about the Master System is that the sound chip that we got is not the best sound that the system's capable of. Uh, this is the best sound that it's capable of. And in fact, the Japanese Master System had the FM sound chip built into it. Now, the only downside is not all of the games support the FM sound chip, only maybe about 40, 40 or so, but some of the really good ones do, like uh, Fantasy Star, Afterburner, R-Type, um, Shinobi. So, um, you know, I think this is sort of worth, worth having if you can find it. And I just wanted to kind of show you guys some of the work I've done on this one and talk to you a little bit more about it. So let's check it out. Here's a closer look at the FM sound unit along with the Sega Mark III. Now you hook this up by setting it on top here, and it doesn't, you know, it doesn't hook on or anything like that. But you plug this guy into the uh, external out port, and then your your uh, video out is now coming out of this. You also plug this ribbon cable here into the front. And you just take this little panel off, and then you can see uh, there's there's a little connector right there. And so you just plug the, the ribbon cable into that. And that's really all you have to do to hook it up. Now, when I got this guy, uh, this is my Mark III that I had previously. It also came with this Mark III, which, as you can see, is not in terribly good shape. Now, in actuality, neither of these worked when I got this. So I had to open this up and uh, try to take a look at the inside. What I did was I uh, actually replaced uh, these four capacitors here and it actually works fine after that. The only thing now is I might actually have to replace this ribbon cable as well because it seems like you know, if it if it gets in a certain position, uh, then it, it doesn't <laughs> it doesn't really respond appropriately. So, uh, so I think this the ribbon cable's just about shot, but that should be easy enough to replace. Um, so other than that, that's really all I had to do to fix the the functional aspect of it. Now the other thing that I did that I thought you guys might be interested in is if you look at. Um, the well you can obviously see it with the difference in the two mark threes just how yellow this is actually it's hard it's hard to see it doesn't look like it's coming through on the camera quite as much as it is in reality but there's a huge difference in the looks of these now on the front of this you can see if you look carefully and i i hope this sort of shows up on the camera but I've, uh, I've treated the top of this and kind of whitened it, and the bottom maybe not so much. And you can kind of see if I sit it on the two of these that the top part uh, actually matches this guy and the bottom matches this one. And the way I did that, and I did the whole thing except for the bottom part here just to, as a demonstration. But, and you can see the inside is still, or maybe not. <laughs> the inside should be yellow looking, but it looks like my lighting might not be shown it. Hold on, let me try something. Let's see if maybe you guys can see it a little bit better. So I'm not sure if that helps any, but uh, there is definitely a yellow side and a, and a slightly lighter side to it. And what I did to, to accomplish that, let's get our lights back on here. What I did to accomplish that was I actually used 
some mild abrasive cleaner with bleach in it to, to get this lighter. Now, I wouldn't always recommend this on a white system, but in this case, the, the Mark III is not sort of like a high gloss system or anything. It's just plastic, just bare plastic. And so when it does yellow like this, you can use uh, uh, a little bit of abrasive cleaner on it with some bleach in it and maybe soak it a little bit, not too long, of course. And you want to be careful around all these areas. And, of course, if you're doing the console or the FM sound unit, you definitely want to take this thing apart and just have the plastic because you don't want to don't want to get your uh, your electronics wet. But in any case, I think it turned out pretty nice. And once I get the bottom part done, then I'll show you guys the uh, finished product. So now I've got everything cleaned off and put back together. And like I said before, it just kind of sits on the top here. It's not actually, uh, you know, it's not hooked on or anything. It just kind of hangs out there got it plugged in in the front and in the back and I think it looks nice I still think it for some reason it kind of still looks two-toned to me I, I think that might be my mind playing tricks on me but for the most part I'm uh, very happy with this and I really like the the enhanced sound for the Mark III now I did want to address uh, one thing before I go on to some gameplay footage and that is say you've got your uh, you know your master system Japanese master system mark 3 game and we're gonna play shinobi with our enhanced sound and it's awesome But some of you uh, who are in the West like me Might be wondering if your copy of shinobi will also work uh, with the FM sound and indeed it will the uh, the support is still there on the Western carts even though the Western carts will not obviously fit in a Japanese system now there's a couple of solutions for the problem. Um, the ones that I know of, that I'm sure, absolutely sure work, um, there's an adapter, and I, I looked for one of these recently just to see if they were still out there, and I couldn't find any for sale currently, but there's an adapter that you can get that actually uh, fits into here, and then you plug the, the cartridge onto it, and it's kind of long and sticks out and looks a little funny, but... Uh, that one works, and then also on the, let's see, this is obviously a, a North American Master System, but on the Japanese Master System as well, woo, there's also uh, a little expansion uh, in the back, and I'm not sure why uh, this is covered in plastic, but anyway, there's a little expansion port there, and on the Japanese one, um, the pinout is the same as the American cart. Now, of course, it's uh, two mail ends, so you have to get an adapter, but you can find those pretty easily. And then you just plug your cart into the back and uh, just turn the system on and play it normally. Now, uh, some of you may be asking at this point what, you know, what the big deal is. And for most games, you know, if you have the Japanese version, uh, it's fine because you're, you're not really going to be doing a whole lot of reading. But if you have something like Fantasy Star where uh, for those of us in the West, you know, I, I really need to play that one in English. Um, so having the Japanese cart is not, not really all that helpful um, because I can't read it. So uh, if you, you, know, you want to do that, you can do it either of those two ways. Um, a third option, I think, um, that I'm going to try is I think you should be able to hook up the FM sound unit to a North American master system through um, the the expansion port and like I said this is covered by a plastic piece I'm not really sure why but um, to my understanding the expansion port on the North American master system has a different pinout uh, from either the Mark III or the Japanese master system but uh, I, as far as I know it still sends the same information uh, just to different pins so it should be, if that is the case, and I'm going to do a little bit more research before I get, you know, too deep into this, but if that is the case, it should be easy enough to make an adapter so that I can hook this up to uh, the North American Master System, and then I should be able to get my FM sound. So at this point, uh, I'm going to shut up, and I'm going to show you guys some, some sample footage, both uh, with and without the FM sound unit, and uh, you guys can judge for yourself. So thanks for watching.
Thank you.